So I told you guys the other day that I had finally succumbed to the pressure and installed the Android 14 beta on my Pixel Fold. Now, the biggest reason for my prior apprehension in doing this was that at some point with these betas, it's often necessary to wipe your device when you opt out. There is always a window, though, where you can opt out and then not have to wipe your device. In this video, I'm gonna give you a heads up on that window because we are in it right now. If you're on the Android 14 beta and you do not want to wipe, there's something you need to do right now before September the 18th. If you are watching this on September the 19th, you have likely already downloaded and installed something that's going to prevent this from being possible. Let's look at this post here on the Android beta subreddit. And what they're talking about here is the fact that they released the final 14 beta, which was 5.3 last week, and they are now preparing to launch the next beta cycle, which is Android 14 QPR1, quarterly platform release number one. So that is about to happen on September the 18th. If you're cool with staying on the beta for the foreseeable future, you can just sit still, QPR1 is going to hit, you'll download it, and off you go. However, if you want to just wait for the final release of Android 14, which will be on October the 4th, as far as we are aware, here's what you need to do. I'm going to link to this blog post, you can read it all yourself, but you're going to scroll down and click on opt out of the program. Then scroll down and click on opt out. Now from there, in the next couple of days, you may get a pop-up on your phone asking you, telling you there's an update available, but look at it. It's going to say Android 13, potentially, especially if you check for an update manually. It's going to say Android 13. Do not install that, because if you do, that's going to roll you back, and it's going to wipe your device. Instead, what you're going to do is nothing. You're going to sit still until October the 4th, when 14 is released. You'll then be able to check for an update and go from Android 14 beta 5.3 to the official 14 release. And at that point, you are no longer on the beta track. You are now on the main stable track. And you can read that for yourself in this uh, little section of this post here. It's been on the screen the entire time. Perhaps you already read it. That is what you need to do. And it's what I've already done. I upgraded to the beta. I've seen the new features. I'm experiencing some new stuff, but I don't really want to continue on the beta because they don't like wiping my device. So I've already opted out. You can see your opt in is my option. I'm not enrolled. I have not actually gotten a pop-up for an update. I've not checked manually either. I'm just kind of letting it go. And I've got, you know, what would that be? It's the 15th today as I am recording. So something like three weeks and I'll have the full release being pushed out and everything will be just fine. So guys, I just wanted to give you that heads up. If you're on the beta, this is what you need to do. These are your options. Of course, QPR1 might have some new features that maybe you want to see. What I would advise is opt out for now. That way you have that option because you can always opt back in and download that QPR1. If something pops up in the news and you go, oh wow, I really want to test that. You can opt back in if you think it's worth doing it at that point. Point. If you want to see what's in this beta, I've already made a video talking about my favorite features from it. I'll drop that in the description down below if I remember to do that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.